Hi everyone, I would like to talk about the four C's when it comes to advocating for yourself or for your child or for anybody else. They are calm, competent, confident, and compassionate. Let's give an example. You turn up to a meeting at your child's school and the whole team is there. Somebody from the NDIS and there's somebody there and the teacher is there and the special education teacher is there and the art therapist is there and everyone is coming with an opinion about your child and you kind of feel like they are slapping on a band-aid solution that you don't think really resonates for your child. It sounds like they're not even talking about your child because they just seem so off. And you want to scream and shout and you want to say, you've got it all wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. That might get you far, but maybe trying the four C's can get you even further. So number one, you want to remain calm. You want to speak calmly and quietly. And in that way, you are going to command respect. The second thing you want to do is remind yourself of your competence. You may not be an expert in neurodiversity. You have a team behind you who are not necessarily in the room that have empowered you to show you what you do and what you can and cannot do and what does and does not work for your child. Your child may have an OT and you may understand their sensory profile and be able to explain that. So remind yourself of your competence. You also are the expert at being this child's parent. You know what works for them. You know how they interact at home. You have a much better picture of that than anybody else. And then let that give you confidence. Speak with confidence. Speak with authority because you do know what you're speaking about. And fourthly, have compassion. Number one, your child's not even in that room. So the first compassion is for them. The second might be for yourself. Whew, this is not easy. I've got to advocate. I've got to have a strong voice and it doesn't feel like it's familiar to me. Have compassion and be proud of yourself for doing it. And also have compassion for everyone else in that room. Because the teachers and the staff, they actually are doing the best that they can with the tools that they have. It may not be what's best for your child. And together with remaining calm, confident, competent, and compassionate, you can come up with solutions. See you next time. Bye.